Hello, I'm the Resolute Cartographer, and this is the ninth video in my Fallout 76 Wastelanders main quest series. We're here in the crater, and we're just about to start the quest Cheating Death, where we're going to be hunting down Lucky Lou. And now luckily we talked to Fisher, and Fisher sent a tracker after Lucky Lou when Lucky Lou vanished from the crater. And that tracker has a tracking beacon on them. Uh, if we actually go to the radio, we can click on Fisher's tracking beacon, but that's going to beep. And I just want to say, if you notice that this character is wearing different clothing than last time, that's because it's a different character. And that's because I've uh, tried to record this once before and forgot to hit the record button. So, we're going to hit that button now, the Fisher tracking beacon, and go after Fisher's tracker. So, taking a look at the map, we luckily have a big circle so we don't just have to hunt for her from all over the map. We can go directly to, in this case, the Colonel Kelly Monument, which is actually already inside the circle. Okay, so we're at about 38 and 5 eighths percent. Let's head up this way, because it seems to be pointing us in this direction. Oh, and there's more beeping coming from this thing, so let's get to one where there's just one beep. Okay. So it looks like there's a new icon on the map. It looks like a cave icon. Let's see if we can't get to that. Up to 60%. Got a good view of the Toxic Valley from here. If you're wondering why the Toxic Valley is white, you can check out my video on uh, Darius Angler, the man who made the Toxic Valley. I'll link that at the end of this video. And we can drop down some more, I think. Yeah, it still looks like it's further down. Wow, just got to... Okay, there we go, it's beeping again. 89%. Okay. Looks like we got a mine. I'm going to turn that off, given that we've definitely found the place. But I uh, luckily managed to get a shot of this location before Wastelanders, so I'll put that in right here. Okay, so let's head on in. Okay, here's the tracker. Weasel. Hello. I was not expecting anyone. Fisher sent me. Are you his tracker friend? Yes, I am Weasel. Is there something wrong with your voice? I can't speak. The man, Fisher, made this collar to let me speak words. It is not perfect, but it works. He found the machines. No. The science. No. That is also not right. Technology. Yes, it has trouble interpreting some words. How does the caller let you speak? Fisher knows how it works better than I do. He found a science person. No. A scientist's house in Monaga. The scientist was working on a device to let animals talk. Fisher made it work for me and impoverished, improvised, made it work better, mostly. That's Dr. Eddie Harrison. I'll just put in a little clip right here of that uh, piece of technology in action. Valid box interpreter subject detected. Transmission initiated. Is it something to play with? Something to eat? Do not run. Want to kill you and eat you. Okay, let's continue the conversation. Weasel, that's an unusual name. Not my real name. I was with a different gang until I snatched. No, ratted on someone. They used a red hot poker to burn my voice box. Now I am with Meg and her gang. They like me, but when they found out why I could not talk, they programmed this thing so I could only say my name is Weasel. That way, people know I was a rat. What kind of words does it have trouble with? The vocals, box cable, word list. 
list was not complete. For example, there are no bad words. I have been trying to say bad words this whole time, but they do not come out. If I try, I can say them in other ways. Poop. Fornicate. Hot underground place. Okay. Uh, never mind. No time to chat. We need to find Lou. Any idea where he is? Lou is deep inside the mine, but he does not want to be found, and it is dangerous to go alone. We can find him together. You lead. I will follow. Okay. Yeah, uh, Dr. Harrison was very lonely after the bombs, so he tried to talk to animals and created a piece of technology that actually does work. All right. I don't want no one getting hurt on account of me. This better be good. Blue, is that you? Yeah, it's me. What's up with you? Yins don't sound familiar. I come from Vault 76. I'm working with your friends. We need you. What you need me for? I ain't going back to Crater. We need you for a job. Nah, I'm retired. I just decided it. Ian's can take your job, turn it sideways, and put it where the sun don't shine. I ain't interested. Why are you abandoning your friends? Cause that's my business, and my business alone. Keep your never news out of it. Can't we just talk about this face to face? <sighs> now listen up. I don't want to talk, cause I don't want you to hurt. I rigged this place to blow. You being here has put a roll wrench in my plans. Nah, you can try to get here to me before I get this son of a bitch detonator working. Or you can kind of screw off and get out alive. I don't recommend anything in between. Nah, if you excuse me, I'm busy. No way forward. No shut it tight. But come look at this. Okay. You know that collar of hers kind of flashes like a slave collar, which is a little unnerving. Over here! I have an idea! What am I looking at? It looks like there is a way through. We could exclaim, expose, destroy it with Big Boom and go to the other side. What are you going to destroy it with? I found some. Big Boom charges at the cave entrance when you arrived. Who must have left them? I wish I could say the right word. Big Boom makes me sound like a baby. I have seen who use them. I think I can do this. Are you sure this will lead to where we need to go? No, but we do not have many options. The cave on the other side may lead us to another cave that goes back into the mine. Then we can find Lou. I have a good feeling about this. Sounds like you know what you're doing. Let's try it. I have done this kind of work with Lou before. Stand back. I will set up the big boom. Okay. Maybe you say that while you're running. <laughs> so yeah, definitely some sort of explosives package up there. There we go. Okay, let's go see what's on the other side. Oh, cave cricket. That pretty easy. I think that was a fairly low level. Oh, yeah. They're only level 15, that's nice. Because they drop good loot, even for that level. Got a chair with a gun facing it, and... A couple of rad witches. Did who make this? It looks like a machine to kill himself. It looks like it did not work. Got a chalkboard that says what the hell with 15, 16, 
16 different check marks on it. Uh, healing salve, that's nice. Uh, a couple of notes. Lose log, new plan. This makes no damn sense. It was such a simple idea. Just sit in the chair. Since the other day, I've gone through three chairs and four shotguns. I've had jams, misfires, broken chair legs, bad aim, and every other thing. I should have known everything in this mine was rusted to hell. No way I'm trying this on myself unless I'm sure it will work. I'm here to die, not get maimed. Time for a new plan. And lose log engine room. I found another one of them ghouls in this mine tonight. He looked just like me, but his mind was fried. I tried talking to him. Stupid, he just ran at me. If Lev's right, I could turn into one of those things at any time. Yeah, there's only one way out of this. I'm not sure I can pull the trigger on myself. I keep losing my nerve. I'm an engineer, damn it. I'll think of something. Maybe I should take the human element out of it. I'll need a workshop. This engine room will work if I stash all the corpses somewhere. Okay, and we got multiple shotguns, uh, some moonshine, and a bunch of chairs. Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay, we can come back in this little closet here. Got a cabinet, barrel, some more cabinets, and then uh, some tape machines. Got an explosives crate with some plasma grenades, that's nice. Sleeping bag, uh, some ammo, not sure why I just picked up that missile, they weigh so much and I never use them. Uh, some consoles and a terminal. Staff notice, we can't wait much longer for the field pump to be repaired. I'll be visiting corporate next week to push on this issue. If Dwayne's guy can't fit us in before November, we may need to hire a local contractor in Grafton or Morgantown. If there's a complete failure while I'm away, talk to Jonah. He worked maintenance at Golly Mine and he knows how to contact their technician. Martin. Okay, definitely a pre-war entry there. So I'm Braxo there. Okay. Let's see. Let's head up here. And we've got a miner's uniform, a couple of miner hats, uh, some junk, crates of junk, a tool case. Okay. And then a toolbox. Not bad. And we have the corpses that Lou stashed. So, all right, let's head back down and out of this area so over here it looks like we got the door uh back to that area where we first came in i think i mean it's hard to tell you can't really you can kind of see through those holes uh but not really uh and then let's see we got a mine car right there okay let's head over this way <laughs> let's see what that is soon Where'd Weasel go? That takes care of those little rats. Really, what is she doing? Huh. I think she's stuck. Well, hopefully she'll teleport ahead as we get further away. Okay. Now heading up this way. Got some equipment. Laser rifle, lunch pail, some fusion cells, and a dead end. So let's head back the other direction. Got some mine carts full of ore. And more tunnel. Nope. Oh, and more mine rats. Okay, dead mole rats. There's that sound again. Okay, we have some broken turrets. Um, not sure what that is, just some cloth. Looks like some psycho on that. And we have another note here. Lose log turret repair. I finally stopped the turrets in the next room from firing at every random critter that runs by. Now they'll only activate when I press the red button. I'll be leaving on my own terms, not some damned rats. Okay, first aid kit with some dirty water. Some junk. Unfortunately, we can't loot that clipboard. But we can come up this way. And see what else we can find. So there are some turrets. And there's a glowing fog crawler in the middle of it. So let's see if we can't get these turrets to fire by pressing this button in the middle. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. 
though. Does he know where he knows where I am? Uh oh. Really could use a uh, weasel about now. Oh no. Stuck. Just hoping to get on top of this thing. Well, nowhere for him to hide up there, so. Okay. Like fish in a barrel. Let's see what he's got on him. Some glowing meat, fog crawler meat, uh, and some other stuff. Okay, we got a little shed here. Some ammunition and a safe. Some ammo and a plasma grenade. Got some cram, canned dog food, fancy lad snack cakes, and lose engineering notes. Turrets. I found a store of military-grade turrets in an old observatory to the south. No idea why they needed this firepower. It's mine now. These turrets are in good shape. I've tested a few, and they all seem to work. I still can't bring myself to walk in front of one, but I'll have a new plan to work around that. Trial run two. The turrets are all set up, but those giant hideous rats keep running through the room and setting them off. Their corpses are liquidy. Makes my stomach churn thinking that will be me. Trimmers have also been a problem. Yeah, trimmers. Yesterday I replaced all the turret wiring and then a small quake set them off. Somehow they ended up targeting each other. Now I need new turrets. I'm starting to sour on this whole damn plan. Failure. Okay, I'm done here. Everything was set up perfectly today. Perfectly. I was eating another last meal over by the excavator and a damned rock fell on the button and activated the turrets. They targeted me, but the excavator blocked most of the fire. Two of the rounds grazed my arm and god this hurts worse than I thought it would. What the hell was I thinking? I hate this place. I don't want to die, but I can't let myself become one of those things. I know what I have to do. Even if my heart ain't in it, damn it, back to the drawing board. Okay. Now the observatory he was talking about there may have been the Atlas Observatory. There was a military presence there, so it makes sense they would have turrets. Nowadays it's just robots. Still no weasel. Uh, let's check out the end of this tunnel real quick. Got some glowing fungus. But other than that, not much. And some uh, brain fungus. What about the end of the tunnel in this direction? Same situation. Oh, got some more piled up bodies. They must have been lying around this area and he didn't want to see them. A whole bunch of blue barrels. Okay. And we got a terminal that should open this door. Okay. Oop, more cake crickets. Nice that even though they know where I am, I can still kill them with one shot with this thing. And, uh, well, actually, I think they know where I am. The whole thing right now is it's telling me I'm in. I've got something trying to kill me that knows where I am, according to the danger uh, at the top there, but I think it's those turrets back there that know where I am. Alright, so we got a single large structure in here, and we've got a note lose log chamber. All that computer crap was too finicky. New plan, death by heavy machinery. I'll need more supplies to finish building the chamber. It needs more supports. Every time I test it, the trimmers in the mine get worse. Now they happen almost every time I turn it on. Am I causing them somehow? Okay. That's uh, nothing off this way. Going over here. You got more chunks of this thing, but uh, they're just lying on the side. And it's a dead end on that side as well, so let's hit the button here. Again, hopefully Weasel will join us at some point. Okay. And that closed, and goodbye world. And we have a panel covered in punji boards coming at us. And a broken floor. Okay. Lou was really not lucky in his uh, attempts to kill himself. So we got some frogs down here. Let's see. Now this is a rad roach den. Oh. No, yeah, the turrets still think they know where I am. That's an unfortunate little bug. Not like these things. These are awful bugs. Very big. 
Okay. Dead, death, skull, rad, scorpion. And where is Weasel? We got some rad scorpion eggs. This is a subterranean den of theirs. Another frog up there. Don't see any more at the moment. Rad scorpion. Oh, jeez, there's one. And it automatically knows where I am. Hey, Weasel's back. And I'm about to die. Let's try something else. Good thing I'm not out of skin packs yet, but I probably will be for too long. Okay. okay, so I just ate, drank, and leveled, and I realized I still have uh, my uh, exterminator perk, which is supposed to increase my basically my ability to ignore armor on insects. Now, of course, arachnids, scorpions are arachnids, I mean. So I don't know if it's going to work on them, but uh, we can always hope. Another red scorpion egg, a couple more there. Okay. And there's one right there. Kill it before it kills us. Okay, I think that actually went a little bit better. Okay, let's see. I think there's still one more of those guys in here. Yeah! At least this one more. Oh, okay. Now again, that might have been the last one. There might be still just one more. Do not like rat scorpions. <laughs> Especially not being in one of their dens. You can always hope that by getting all these eggs, there'll be fewer rats oh, rat scorpions in the future. Ah, crap. Run! Oh. Okay, no more rat scorpions. Thank God. Okay. Stand back. For the explosion. Maybe you should do that too. Oh my good lord. <laughs> she was just kind of standing in place there for a minute. Well, it looks like she had the time. Okay. And I think more cave crickets. And a room that looks like it's straight out of Skyrim. <laughs> yep, there's a cave cricket. I mean, there's trees in here. Uh, but and then you see that there's also a, a bed down there. Uh, sorry, a dump truck bed down there. And uh, looks like a dead miner inside it with a super sledge. Well, let's come up this way. We got a uh, steamer trunk here for the location. Okay. You know, it's kind of funny that uh, the Gamma gun has been in the game for as long as it has when... <laughs> there was really, I don't think anybody you could use those things. Well, no, no human enemies you could use those on uh, prior to Wastelanders. Okay. Let's chat with Weasel. We will find Lou. Do not worry. Okay. I hear ah, there working we go. Up ahead. I will stay here. You should be the one to handle this part. Okay. What? We need to be quiet, or Lou will hear us. Why do I have to do it? Why don't you go handle this? I may have had to if you were not here. But the plan was only for me to find him, not speak to him. Fisher was going to be the one to talk to him. But I guess he sent you instead. 
So it is now your job. Any bright ideas on how I should approach it? You could try to go in as quiet as possible and disable each big boom. That would stop him from making them boom. Then talk to him. Or if you are good with words, you could just try to talk to him. He may see your point. Just be careful. I do not want to be buried alive because you fornicated. Uh. <laughs> okay. Let's go chat with Lou. But first, we're going to disable the explosives. Now, there are four explosives. There's Lou down there in the middle. First explosive here on this left side. Just need to hit the switch. Unfortunately, you like can't even look at it from this side to hit the switch. You have to be standing at that uh, small end of it. Three to go. Two to go. One to go. And done. All right, let's go chat with Lou. So you think you're all sneaking at? Well, you're not, Jagoff. I see you. Better be ready to explain what you're thinking. Okay, I'm listening. I disabled all your explosives, so you won't be detonating anything right now. Let's talk. You did what? Why the hell you gotta do that? Of course, this would happen this way. What a pain in my ass. You gone through all the trouble not to get here. Well, I'd have to stop an old man from off himself. What do you want? Off yourself? Are you trying to commit suicide? That's what I said. Did I stutter? In case it ain't obvious, I'm one of them rad soaked ghouls. Been that way going on 25 years. Ain't no way to live. Killing myself's the only way to keep people safe. Of course, that's harder than you'd think. How will killing yourself keep people safe? You see them fears, right? Only a matter of time before I'm one of them. I don't want to kill nobody who ain't got a good reason to be killed. It's bad enough I look like a monster. It's a whole nother thing to kill just because something moved. Aren't you working with raiders, though? That's different. We don't kill nobody for no reason. We offer mercy. We let people join up. We ain't as bad as you think. We give them a choice. We only kill if we need to. It's about survival. Not killing because we feel like it. Maybe it's not that bad. Yins ain't making a good case if you want my help. Okay, I understand. It ain't the kind of life I'd wish on nobody. I imagine deciding you kill yourself is a very hard decision. That ain't what I mean. I mean literally, physically, I can't seem to do it. You've seen the setups I got here. All designed to be foolproof death traps. None of them worked. Always something managed to go wrong. So I figure with this last one, worst case scenario, I get buried alive and can't do no harm to nobody. No backing out of it. I tell you, my luck ain't a blessing. It's a curse. You've really convinced yourself of this luck thing, haven't you? Luck's supposed to work in your favor. And it did. Most of my life wasn't a game of cards I couldn't win. Of course, I almost never played. Didn't have nobody to play with. Worked with demolition my whole life. Walked away from accidents that would have outright killed other men. So yeah, I'm convinced the world wants me alive. Like it or not. And that's a problem for everyone else. It's only a curse if you're trying to die. That's the problem. Dying old days don't seem to be an option. The longer I'm alive, the longer I'm a danger to others. I'm a burden at best. No thanks. I'm done with the world. That's like the world just ain't done with me. Just had to curse me with luck, so I came and died in peace with my dignity intact. But you're not mindless like the feral ghouls. Not yet. How do you think those ferals get that way? All I know is I can't be around people when that happens. Best to seal myself away. It's very noble of you, but people still need you. Yeah, I know. I'm a regular softy. Nice that people need me. But you don't understand. 
this unnatural walking corpse of a body. It ain't no way to live. Say I go back with the Instahel. What happens if I change for the worse and end up killing others? And what happens if people have trouble putting me down? So I end up killing them all. What then? I don't think that's very likely. Yeah, well, I don't like taking chances. That's why I work with explosives. So, here's the deal. If I do this job for you, you gotta help me off myself after it's done. It's gotta be you. I don't want nobody else knowing about this. The only thing I'll promise is to leave you alone afterwards. Good enough. I can always come back here and do what I was gonna do anyway. Remember, not a word to the others about what I was out here doing or why. Not even Fisher. Don't even want to think less of me. And I don't want to cause any fright. Now, nah. let's hear about this job. We need your demolition skills to break into Vault 79. The Yins want to blast our way into a vault? Sounds crazy, but I can do it. I'm in. You go on ahead back to Crater. I gotta get things in order around here, so nothing happens to it while I'm gone. Meet you there. Okay. Just because I said I helped Nat, don't mean I'm happy about it. Let's take a look here. Lose log cave in. Of course I'll use gravity. Nothing can stop gravity. It's gravity. The stone pillars in this cavern are load bearing. When my explosives detonate, the ceiling will collapse. I'll be buried under a ton of rubble. If I don't die from the explosion, at least I'll never get out. This is going to work, damn it. I'm a demolitions expert. Why didn't I try this from the start? <laughs> He's got a kind of a point there. Uh, let's see, we got a big uh, dump truck here. Coming back over here. We have a weapons workbench. Another skeleton. Toolbox. Okay. Got a vehicle inventory terminal. Carlton Mine Maintenance Terminal, Vehicle Inventory Records, Forklift Operation Records. Alright, it looks like this is the records for October, and they run up to uh, Friday, when uh, the last one was checked out at 7 a.m. Okay. And then, Maintenance Requests. SBJ 5506P-31, Wheel Replacement. October 3rd, 2077, Left Rear Wheel Deformed, Needs Replacement. And PMJ 0383 5P2 steering. October 15th, 2077. Sticks to the left. Notice this over the past two days. Okay, more stuff from the pre war. Got another one of these large dump trucks that's uh, stuck in that tunnel that's collapsed. Coming back up here, we got a whole bunch of junk. Well, not a whole bunch. We have anything of junk and then a whole bunch of clutter that we can't pick up. Looks like we got an elevator here. Uh, I think we can just press this button. I don't think we can count on uh, Weasel to be following us. Okay. Got a couple pieces of junk there. Wooden crate with some junk in it. Okay, let's see. I wonder where we are. We got some uh, mine carts here. Coming around here, we got a armor workbench. A uh, toolbox with some mintats and junk. There's the elevator again. Got a desk some boiled water on it. Ooh, another toolbox with some more junk. Yum yum deviled eggs and some canned dog food, so we got some food out of that. Okay, collapsed tunnel there. Let's head down this way. It's kind of weird that they used so much wood in this modern mine uh, as supports. I mean, let's head up this way. Got an overturned uh, little front loader there. Bunch of destroyed turrets. Explosives crate. Got a terminal connected to a door. And on the other side... Oh, this is the room where he was trying to kill himself with the uh, shotgun into the chair. Let's head back this way. Okay, we got <laughs> more chairs. These are kind of crazy chairs to be, find, to be found in a mine. Uh, we got a tool chest there. Nothing in that tool chest, though. A drill. Some empty lockers. A locker with a piece of junk in it. Empty stalls. Okay, mirrors. Oh, stem pack and some bobby pins. That was a good mirror. Okay, coming back this way. Oh, another explosives crate. 
Ooh, three plasma grenades. That was nice. We got uh, one of these chunks of that moving platform covered in the punji boards. Okay, hit the button. Did that do anything? No. Uh, oh, I've always thought it's kind of amazing that you can pick these things up and just walk off with them. I mean, they're like half the size of the character, uh, but you can throw them into your backpack. Anyway, uh, terminal here. Okay, open that door, and here we are back out in the entrance area. Okay, I think that'll do it for this place, so let's head back and talk to Meg. Ooh, they probably should fix that, that <laughs> this door, the way it opens, it's uh, going right over that first aid kit. Anyway, let's head back to Crater. Alright, here we are again. Let's speak with Meg. A76. Took you long enough to come back. You get Lou on board with the plan? I had to take care of some stuff. Lou's good to go. Okay, good. Lou's our way in the front door, so I don't know how we do it without him. Alright, so I've been thinking about those plans. Place is secure as hell. Once Lou gets us inside, I'm sure we're gonna meet resistance. Ain't gonna just bowl over and let us loot, so we're gonna need the big guns. For that, we need Gale. Gail's the big green mutant gal you may have seen around, always hanging out with her little girl, Ra-Ra. Ever since Ra-Ra met up with Gail in the wilderness, they've been impossible to separate. So, just saying, you may have to convince Ra-Ra to let Gail come with us. Good luck, 7-6. Okay, that completes cheating death. Alright, here we are outside because those raiders get really chatty and I wanted to conclude the video. Uh, next time we're not going to do fun and games, which is the next raider quest. We're not going to go talk to Gale. We're going to go do trade secrets, which means we're going to be searching Cornbread Industrial, which is something that we uh, discussed back in the uh, bottling the new Kukira video. Because uh, we're, again, we're going to be swapping off raider to settler, raider to settler, all the way up until we get to the point where we have to choose one to go into the vault, and then either this character or the other character will go with raiders, and then the other one will go with the settlers. And that way we'll get to see both of them take the vault. Okay, so that should do it for this video. This has been the Resident Cryptographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.